So Chris point Pratt. being that um, that that really w- kind of took some time, but that really freaked me out and got me thinking like, okay, a disaster was averted, but not by much, you right. know? Yeah. And um, so that my dad has fallen several times, not, um, wouldn't let us know. Like I was waking up in the middle of the night, looking at the camera to see if my dad's in bed. I could see if his legs were hanging out. Then it's like four in the morning and I'm down there, um, you know, having a, to help get him into back into bed. And, you know, it's just it, like, it is not the safest situation. He was not listening and to, to many of the things that we need, we're trying to get him to do for his own safety. Sure. Um, and he had, he has an Apple watch. He had the clicky buttons to ding me and you know, just it, all the same things you could do for safety around the house. But at Hold some point, so an Apple watch yeah. has got a distress element to it as well as if you need it. Well, he could call me like, okay. in other words, if he, if his phone was, you know, at his recliner and he fell somewhere like in the bathroom, if he has the watch on, you know, he could reach me ideally. But yeah. again, mental capacity to do that can be waning. Yeah. Uh, and he is all there, but he's also sometimes not all there. Like okay. there's definitely some more confusion. And, you know, you spend every time you go to the hospital for a week or whatever, it seems like the capacity, the mental capacity like lowers. Oh, bless uh, you. he's 83. Uh, and anyways, he, uh, at the end of the day, um, I really just started thinking about it again. And I had looked into assisted living previously, but there was not availability. And I looked into it when my mother was sick and I thought she was going to be coming home. Mm-hmm. We did have a living care at one point, which was a huge nightmare, totally yeah. different topic, different show. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> It cannot be a nightmare, but the person we hired was crazy. So there's that. Um, right. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, so, so, so I ended up taking him over there once I went and saw the apartment and I did bring Sar with me who spoke Portuguese and we were able to freely communicate that way with the director. And uh, there is some staff that speaks English, but, uh, but it's limited, you know, it's not America. Uh, that said, the food is Portuguese. My dad is not thrilled with that. <laughs> he does not understand soup, including my American homemade soup. He does not get into it. So it just oh, is wow. what it is. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he now is in a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment with mm-hmm. a little front room that's got closets, you know, like a little entry room. Um, and it has a kitchenette. He he would have a cooktop available to him, but we made it not available. And um, uh, he does have a microwave, but he has no metal. I've gotten him microwave safe, plastic, everything, you know, yes. stoops, cups, spoons, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so he can't make a mistake like that. And I also don't leave him any foil and stuff he could stick in the microwave. And so now he's getting checked on twice a night. He's getting meds. Uh, four times a day per his his doctor. Um, he's getting uh, meals. He's getting um, really good care. And it's nine minutes from the house. Well, that's good. And it's affordable-ish, certainly more so than in the U.S. And I do have people that wanted specific questions answered um, because I do have a Facebook moving to Portugal, seniors, and... Yes. Yeah. Adults. Can I ask? I mean, can you tell yeah. us what the costs are roughly? For, for, for yes, for, I was going to do that. I just wanted to actually yeah. pull these questions up too. Uh, well, while so, you're doing that, we've got um, Matty saying, "Try caring for an 84 year old across the Atlantic." My girlfriend's dad lives alone in Curaçao, and she lives in the Netherlands. That's another topic as well, isn't it? Staying in touch with uh, elderly relatives elsewhere in the world. That is an issue for a that's lot of a people. That's a different probably. aspect of all of yeah, this. Yes. Absolutely. So uh, I do want to answer these questions because I think they're really good. So if Go I can work it. on that. Go so yeah, co- cost is always like the number one, right? Yeah. So the cost, it's interesting. These are condominiums. They're called Condominium Don Dinis in Caldish. And uh, they, the base cost, so the cost for actually, you know, the the service and the space, or well, not the space, but the overall space, the bigger space, is 1270 a month, so 1270 euros. 
Then there's a rent because a condominium is actually owned by an investor, which is interesting, a whole different show and level. Um, But I love the idea that investors could pull together and put more of these homes together that we need, particularly for expats. Oh, yeah. Um, And so uh, 370 is what we pay to the investor. And that is uh, a newer, newer remodeled room versus an older one. So they, they can have older ones that are, I believe are 300 a month and not 370. Okay. And then you also pay a level of care and it's 60 euro for level one, a hundred euro for level two, 160 for level three. And so level three is wheelchair, you know, uh, bedridden, like all the way all the way level and the levels can vary depending on how the person is that month. So, and I haven't been billed yet, so I'm not sure where my dad's going to come in. He, he mobilizes. So he he should be on the lowest level. You can sort of pull it, pull in the care level that's required to suit the need. And then you'll build. Well, they, they pull in the care that they need to give him and they bill you. (laughs) Hold on. Um, is there three parts already to this? So the, what's, what does the basic give you beyond, before you start? Well, the 1270 for- doesn't give you anything because you need to pay the owner of the condo for their room. But the 1270 gives you, you know, the place that's going to do the place itself is what right. it gives you. So the overall, but the actual unit rent is part of that. So it's 1270 plus the 370. So yeah. 1270 plus 370, I think it was 1640. So 1640 is the base. And then it's going to be anywhere from another 60 to another 160. So 60 would make it 1700. So it's 17 to 1800 a month yeah. for the base. It could be a little less if it was not a remodeled room. That will include um, food. That's, that's food. And this includes food, point. cleaning once a week, uh, laundry, um, medication, them giving medication. Yeah. Uh, yes. So that's all part of the base. And the, uh, the additional care costs are for extra care costs. Beyond they're for, food. well, yeah, they're for extra level of care. Right. And then I also pay for physical therapy. So 20 physical therapy um, sessions is like 300 euro. Yeah. So okay. you can buy them individually or buy them in a pack. So he just, I just, you know, have that pack of 20 which actually will probably go more than a month for him yeah i do have a colorful microphone why thank you and um <laughs> so andrew andrew gilchrist age seven yes <laughs> yes oh, yeah. right so go, carry on please okay i'll, okay. I'll, put in, I'll put, stop putting comments up because i think they're distracting yeah right. i can't do com. i gotta focus on this because i'm All too right. i'll, I'll, I'll go I'll i can have my own show carl come on okay so <laughs> is he sharing his room or has it so he does have his own private space yeah. And uh, they do have shutters on the windows. Um, he's got two very large windows. He has really good sun exposure. We got lucky. And um, that's nice. There is no cooling. There is heating. Uh, but we would have to add like a, um, tr- you know, like a, con- a transportable, what do you call this? Uh, air air conditioner thing. Yeah. And, and, but he likes it really warm. So I don't know that we'll need to do that because it's been pretty warm and he's, happy as a clam so okay um lovely okay yeah so they do they do the medications they would do supplements if i i believe if i gave them those as part of his here's all the stuff he takes um they do the 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 pharmacy does their pill packs and they have their own pharmacy so it's another place they make money and they bill you of course for their medications um there are some specialty medications because he has a rare blood cancer and so I do still go to EPO, uh, which is the cancer hospital, his hospital in Lisbon, and pick up his specialty meds and bring those to them so that they can keep him on that. Okay. I don't know if they if there's a service for them to do that, but I just need to know that that's happening because it's really it's the only thing that treats his blood cancer is this medication. So I just need to know for sure it's happening. So we do that. Um, mm-hmm. and then let's see what else, uh, he, because he's still mobile, he can choose to either stay in his room all the time, or he can choose to come down and they will bring meals to the room. Uh, but they do have a really nice dining room and everybody has their own table 
and um, the food's supposed to be quite good. And I did taste the soup that my dad wouldn't taste. Actually, it was good. <laughs> okay. um, so he can do what he wants. We also can take him out when we want. Um, and we can visit when we want, uh, relatively. If it's before 1 p.m., they don't like you to come because they're showering people and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I brought a shower chair, so he has a shower chair for safety. And uh, But they'll help him do all of those things. So what I like about it is that it, it's a, he can age in place there, and he doesn't have to you know move further. And that's really what I wanted was a place he could really age up to. But I think the important part of that is also realizing that uh, if you wait until your loved one has to have this level of care, it's really tough because yeah. now it's an emergency situation. And yeah. I actually briefly uh, worked for caring.com doing um, phone calls where I would intake take calls from people like me that were going, Oh, my dad almost burned the house down or, you know, yeah. whatever things were going on. And, um, I would help, uh, help place people in, um, these sort of properties or, uh, or private care homes. And there, I don't know that there is a official private care homes here, but, uh, but I know they they must exist to some extent. But again, it's it's the language barrier. And that is the hardest part, I think. I did make my dad a cheat sheet, like a plastic thing, um, three page sheet. And I got it laminated and put it, you know, put a little binder ring on it and and that. And by the way, my last name's Binder, but part of the family was Binder, so you weren't wrong. With the oh, I knew I, I knew I had a 50-50 show. Okay, it's okay. Show. okay. We were right. Binder. We were well, Eastern I, I European Binder. Yeah, okay, Binder, okay. Bender, I think we were all of it. Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so uh, uh, he he has this cheat sheet that's got, you know, asking for a pain pill, and she, he can point to if he has pain somewhere or uh, if he needs certain things. Um it has a little a little introduction about him. Uh, you let me just say, I think you're the most amazing daughter as well. This is incredible. Oh gosh, uh, yeah. I keep hearing that, but yeah. I, no, you just I don't know. It's just what else are you supposed to do? You oh, know, yeah, I understand that, but you know, you know, everyone does, and, and that's incredible what, what you're doing. And, and given that you're in a new uh, environment, doing all of this as well. Well, it's scary because I moved here. Uh, with I, I had the initial large chunk of money to buy the house, do the remodel and all of that. OK, but then my parents had the monthly income because they had Social Security and pension. Yeah. So I left my, you know, 28 years as real estate broker, uh, successful six figure business um, to come here. I wanted to move to Portugal. No doubt about it. it had nothing to do with my parents, but it became readily apparent that they needed help and that. I was no way going to be able to afford to do that in the U.S. because my house is tiny, little 1950s, one bathroom, you know, ranch. And my parents were in a two bedroom condo. Yeah. And at the time I had like eight rescue pugs. OK. And um, yes, you did. rescue senior dogs. Yes, right. it's a good thing. Anyways. Uh, and, and so so like it's just our houses were not compatible at the time. And it would have cost over a million dollars or something to get the sort of property that we would have needed in Arizona. Yeah. And we still would have been a place I didn't want to live, like, you know, way suburbs or I don't know what. So it wasn't realistic. So so it, so that's what helped prompt, okay, we need to look at Portugal, you know, for a variety of reasons. But the scary part is my mom passes away yeah. uh, November 1st, and they arrived November 1st of 22, and they arrived October 11th of 21. So a year later, right? And so her income's gone. And then uh, now my dad, his income is going to help pay for him, right? Yeah. And yeah. so so it, it's it, this all came to be like a lot quicker than I expected. So financially, it's it's a couple thousand dollars a month which yes, technically he can afford. Um, but I also still have to afford all the things I have to afford too. So yeah. it's, uh, it's been, uh, definitely a study of like 
okay, get your business in gear, you know, and business has been really good. Thankfully, I get great referrals and I get talked about in Americans and friends and, and whatnot, which is wonderful in a good way. Talked about in a good way. Thank you all for that. <laughs> and um, I'm sure in a bad way too, maybe. No, no, because it's Portugal. So we can't do that. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> um, I like transparency. So if you're going to say something, just say it. Love it or hate it. I've noticed that. Yeah. And you <laughs> you, you, you deal with that brilliantly, I have to say. And we, just, I mean, the people are making comparisons of the costs here. And it's a lot. It is a lot of money. Are, are but a lot less, less expensive. So that I, I'm not I'm not belittling that. But I'm also just um, explaining my whole, uh, you know, I can speak to my experience, right? Yeah, we, we all can speak to yeah, our experiences. Yeah, and, yeah. and so I know that that's cheap. I know that's dirt cheap. Okay. I know in the U S if you haven't got it, it's still, it, that's a lot. Yeah. Of yeah. Of yeah. It's price. cheap, but guess what? When I take his income and I subtract his costs and, and our costs, like, yeah, you know, yeah. which is fine. I don't expect to live off my, you know, parents or whatever. Um, so, but, but is what it is, but it, it's all like more unexpected, like, oh, that was quicker. I thought I would have like at least six months or a year longer to kind of get established and stuff like that, but it's all good. Um, okay. Let me just um, add a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, Matt, Matty was thinking, answering your question about private care homes. Uh, he thought not so much here because the Portuguese take care of their elderly in the family. Uh, Andrew Gilchrist, who does have a good insight, I think, into Portuguese culture, is saying, sadly, Matty, is not the case all the time. Of course, it wouldn't be. And didn't say that, but 100%, but much more so than countries like the USA and UK. Yeah, the, you know, the culture the is, is the more... Yeah, the course. culture and the lifestyle, I mean, the reality is, uh, money-wise, people can't afford to live on their own, a lot of, you know, the locals and whatnot. So here, and you have these big houses that how multiple families because they had to you know yeah, right. and and so a lot of these properties exist uh they need help or you know cosmetically at least <laughs> <laughs> we could have a whole show about the yeah the decorating and portuguese and all of that but anyways i mean um, Matt, so we, i think we're good for what 10 more 10 more i got months i got course. we got topics we got, you might we need got to topics back. yeah you, you, you maybe need to come back, come back more regularly um, i can do that i can do that i love that today's given today's <laughs> wide-ranging conversation <laughs> no so i think you know the reality is in in the u.s this sort of care would be 3000 on the low, probably yeah. in like Alabama and, you know, some little podunky sort of places. Sorry if you're from Alabama, but whatever. Podunky? What does podunky mean? Well, like, you know, mm, smaller, oh, like, like if stuff. here, if you were going to go to like, uh, central Portugal, like it's cheaper, you know what I mean? Uh, like yeah. different regions or just, or, or different States in, in the case often of the U S uh, as well right. as regions. Of course, there's yeah. going to be more expensive areas in, in every state. So, <clears throat> but you know, if you're going to be in Lisbon and you get care, it, it's, or the Algarve, it's, it's going to be more expensive, right? Of course it is. Probably. Of course it is. And Probably. you make a good point that there is a, there is an obviously a business opportunity in this. Not there is. So I'm of... calling for investors to ah. come in here and build us some more um, of communal type, independent type but being able to age into uh type properties because there's there's huge huge i could i myself could probably fill your space yeah well and uh, <laughs> i think i found the property um i've got a lot of things we've got three minutes officially uh, okay. and you, you might want to decide what you want to stay for i've got news just in portugal no longer closing the golden visa amended not abandoned I've got a Portuguese man speaking that was sent to me by Raquel to, as a test to see how much we could comprehend of, of oh how this. Oh gosh! I just passed. I just got my A one A two. So well done. So, Congratulations on that. I oh, probably no, shouldn't no. have passed, but I'll take it because yeah, yeah, yeah. take it, take it, Def <laughs> definitely. Um, and um, I've got to the Portugal. Learn about Portugal quiz. When do you absolutely have to go? I have to be at INT at 12.15 in Leiria, so I should go by 11.15, but I also need to feed this little bird again, we won't be, we won't so I should go by 10.30, which I think okay. your show ends. We will be done by 10.30 for sure. Okay. So, okay. so I'm, I want to involve you. Thank you so much for what you've told us about your father's care and and all of the, all that that has um, 
stimulated and inspired in the conversation, which we will continue in another time. Tonight, Nunu from uh, Nunu from Insurance will be on the Dream Team call, and he's got a, 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 a new insurance policy that helps with elderly care. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to be talking about the new funeral plan that they've been working on as well, because that's a whole other area, of course. Yes. All of this is like mystery to so many of us, isn't it? And I'm glad we're having these conversations. So join us for the Dream Team tonight at 9 to talk with Nunu about that and what help you can get from an insurance point of view. Um, when it comes to uh, investing in a property, I found this wine cellar yesterday. Ooh. And it comes with a house, which nice. is convenient. This that's the wine cellar of an amazing property uh, in Del called the Delgado Mansion that I was at yesterday, which sounds like a TV nice. show. Doesn't it? Um, there's a gym, there's a wine cellar, there's a workshop, there's a big meeting space. There are four studio apartments on the basement level, which opens out onto the vineyard back garden. And above wow. is the luxury house of many rooms, reception rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms with en suites with 360 degree views of the countryside. This is on the market, over a million, but it would lend itself so brilliantly to a small a home of, of the kind you're talking about um, and luxurious by, you know, many sta local standards uh, and an investment property for this. And I, so I anticipate more of this happening. Of well, there going. is a huge amount of people interested in, it's particularly, there's a lot of single women here, right? Yeah. And, uh, but in particular, they're interested in, you know, like a semi communal type of situation, like co op mm -hmm. housing. But, you know, if, if someone could offer something like that, if that sort of thing was available and offered aspects of care, like, you know, there's, there's just like, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of room for investing and growth in that because, um, you know, who knows? I mean, I, I'm, I would be interested in something like that at some point, yeah. maybe. Who yeah, knows, right. you know? Right. And and because the way we live is not ideal, is it? For It's ideal for us, for the sweet spot of a certain kind of lifestyle. And a lot of the rest of our, our life is not managed or, or there aren't great options at the moment. And um, we've also got this mismatch of like old culture, new culture. So there's definitely... Um, I'll call it an opportunity in this and a, a, certainly a conversation. Um, so let's keep having that conversation here. Um, a, this just in, thanks to Bobby for sending me this, um, a, a news item. I can send it to anybody who wants to uh, DM me on this. It's not for everybody, but it's interesting from the point of view of a, another political change. Maybe if this has been reported correctly, Portugal no longer closing golden visa program amended, not abandoned. In a surprising shift of policy, Portugal's governing socialist party has proposed changes and re revisions to the country's golden visa program initially aiming to close the program entirely the party now seeks to retain a significant portion of the program excluding only real estate investments and capital transfer options the sudden turn of events has industry experts and potential investors around the world very intrigued we will keep following that uh, the that that's not just like scam um spam like that's legit sorry I had to plug that well out. it's from imperialcitizenship.com make of that what you will and I'll yeah but there's so much clickbait and if you're just reading you know I know absolutely right so you, we've got to do our due diligence as the Americans might say the due diligence uh, on this and just and sort the wheat from the chaff but I think any any um, leads on that are important at the moment um, to see what's what. Uh, the Learn About Portugal quiz of the day, putting Heather Binder on the spot here. Uh -oh. what, are, what are Pam and John drinking here? Um, almost exactly a year and a day ah, ago. I actually oh. know that one. Ginger. Okay, yes, Ginger. You, might, you, might, you might be right, you might not. Um, the, um, the question actually is, on the beginner level, name the drink. There are two possible names for it. Oh, uh -oh. Heather might have one of them. The intermediate question, Heather, is what is special about the cup or couple from which they're oh, drinking it? Oh, oh. She knows that as well, don't you? You it's see, you're saying it's, you're it's a yes. cup, it's a chocolate cup. It might be. And okay. the, advanced, the advanced question, A1, A2, Heather Binder. When asked Con Elish or Saint Elish, what might the pourer of the drink mean? So uh, you can go to learn about Portugal.com. So what? Con Elish or Saint Elish? Well, somebody's pouring you one of those drinks. They might yeah. say Con Elish or Saint Elish. What might they mean? With you have to come back to learn. Yes, you've got them. Yeah, or, without something. So without, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, same. Yeah, without. So, Comjello? 
with ice? Mm. No, um, good guess, but not correct on this occasion. You'll have to go to learn about Portugal.com later well, on. Well, you're today. talking it's something somebody would say when they're pouring you ginger? Yes. Uh, there is. A, you, you've got the drink. Com copo, the like cup, the, with the chocolate there's, cup. There's a part to the drink which you may or may not want to have in your little cup there. Well, I know you don't have to have the chocolate cup. So if you it can is just do it in a shot glass. So I'm going to say com copo or uh, sem copo. I'm just, gonna leave that, I'm just going to leave that hanging there. And, and I made 